Hello everybody, welcome back to Language, Litigation, and Integration Part 192, Stallion Rumble. Stallions, rumble. Stallions, rumble. Let's get the motherfucking rumbling. So, uh, this one, as always, the main and primary purpose of this lecture series is bring to light ongoing criminal activity by constitutional rights, Article 1, Section 8, Subsection 7 of the United States Constitution, guarantees me my right to my writings and my discoveries. The Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution guarantees me payment for private property being distributed for public use. My private property is clearly being used for public use. Have I been paid anything? No. Have I been in a time frame? No. Have I been extorted, denigrated, and been the instinctual victim of crime every two days, two weeks, and two months? Yes. And so, had, had just another, another mind-bending, mind-bending full circle level of hypocrisy. So typical things, I don't have that many talking points today, but we will be reviewing some some stories, as well as announcing some more lawsuits. Because people keep committing crimes, they refuse to treat me like a person, they just act like they never existed. The families of Central Ohio have so legitimately destroyed my life. And so, I want to read to you a post from an, an ex-friend, and it was a good friend, like this direct, one of my closest girlfriends, again, not, like, not romantic girlfriends, but friends that's a girl in my friend group. But again, I have no friends, but I've been talking about years ago. So obviously, do I have my stuff pulled up? No, I do. Where's my screenshots? Freaking Android. But regardless, I just, I get on LinkedIn the other day, and Jessica Ryan, who was formerly Jessica Johnson, daughter of the Jets, or Jennifer Johnson, that's not the homeowner association lady, but literally, I'm just dumbfounded, infuriated, and immediate, immediate lawsuit. So again, an ex-friend. Post, it was an honor to join Governor DeWine and all the incredible victims, advocates, and supporters this morning for the ceremonial, sensorial, sensorial, ceremonial signing of HB 343. If you are a crime victim in Ohio, you have rights, all capitalized. Gonna get him, Jessica! Get up, Jessica! And HB 343 ensures that every victim, regardless of where they live, is empowered to invoke the constitutional rights in the criminal justice system. What are you talking about? Direct citation of the United States Constitution, and I'm sure the Ohio Constitution as well. My life has been fucking destroyed. Jessica Johnson, you watched my parents and my family treat me like shit my entire life, yes or no? I sat in your living room with your mother, and again, that one night, again, when I'm talking about I can't get into people because you guys won't let me because you guys, everyone in this community is 14 years old, and they just project their insecurities, and they're hypocrites. Don't you remember when I sat in your living room with your mother and we, we talked for, I don't know, two, three hours? That was me live deriving things. And you sat there in the chair and you're like, wow, now I'm really learning stuff. Now I've been doing that for 10 continuous years and that is all intellectual property. It's all empirical proving. It's all mathematics. It's all worth something. And so don't you remember that day, Jessica? Don't you remember watching and then saying that you never understood why my parents don't accept or respect my life's, my life's work? Well, now you're in a place of you're signing a bill with Governor DeWine. It's like you put on some weight. But it looks like your whole crew is pretty, uh, pretty overweight. But this is, this is disgusting. I cannot eat food properly because I cannot pay my bills. And I still can't get away from the toxicity of my parents' family. And just simply, simply financially, just to pay my own bills. I have a ton of property being stolen. I have 1485 on Oak Street at Dell's on Oak. I own 35% of the restaurant. It can't turn a profit because I cannot advertise it properly. I have US 953. 9295B2, which is my patent for CBD and rich alcohol. Jennifer Johnson, don't remember when you called that it was genius? Well, I still can't sell it because our country is fucking incompetent and in committing crimes. And the, again, the 10 plus lecture shares, which unifies the natural sciences, which has gotten me ha having top level academics or people, the government people coming up to me unsolicited saying, confirming all this shit. I need somebody to do something. But this is, this is Columbus, Ohio. This is St. Francis de Sales. This is Westerville, Ohio. People with direct legal obligations that watched my life get destroyed by this shitty behavior. That grew up 10 years ago. I didn't have any property. I, I didn't have any real right to anything. I was 100% being abused and being neglected, 100%. But I didn't know what was going on. And now 10 years later, I have a ton of property. My life is completely fucking ruined. And, and an old ex-friend who just, again, I told you the story about didn't get invited to the, get invited to the wedding. And you guys have just thought, such fucking, fuck, I'm, I'm a scapegoat. I'm a scapegoat. But that was, the, the it's like, I, I, I think I've already told, I told you the stories of like, 
Well, I don't know if I told you. I think this is just, I just, this was literally posted, I don't know, three days ago, and today is April 1st, 2023. I've been documenting my constitutional rights being violated for seven years, publicly every day as much as I can. And then this, but again, my, again, I don't think people talk about me. Again, I've just been pushed out. No one will acknowledge that I fucking exist. And then I can't pay my bills and I can't feel safe. And then I cannot feel happy and then people call me sad and I'm not. I'm just frustrated that I've been tortured since I've been a child. These people need to go to prison. This is fraudulent. If you, have an, if you have a professional responsibility to do your job, again, ensuring the rights of crime victims, and you guys are the ones that ruined my life, you were part of the, the little culty little group of people that slandered my name and destroyed my reputation, right? Because back in college, right, I was the edgy weirdo, right? Ross Warner, right? Ross Warner is the medical doctor in their little friend group. Jessica Ryan's married to Pete Ryan, who, whose dad is Jamie Ryan, who was the guy that I told you that came up to me in First Watch. You know, a couple years ago, and was like, you know, when you when you want to raise a lot of money, you call me. No, Jamie Ryan, I don't want to, to help you guys make any fucking money. You have no value to me. You are not my fucking friend. You have neglected my educational needs as a fucking community, and now you have responsibilities to do something, and you don't. Tell your daughter-in-law to advocate for me, for Columbus, Ohio, for fuck sake. But this is this is this is the to everybody else in the world. This is the level of character that I am dealing with in my community. A bunch of fat, pathetic fucks that will not do their jobs. So again, absolutely suing um, uh, strategic public partners, whatever Jessica Johnson, whatever Jessica Ryan, wherever you were working. I, I didn't know, I, I've seen you on LinkedIn for years, but I didn't know what strategic public partners does. But if it's advocating for violate victims and you just, it's fuck Brad, fuck Brad, fuck Brad, like it always is and always has been, then, then absolutely you guys are being sued, fraud, extortion, racketeering, anybody in this fucking community that knows what I'm doing, that's not doing their professional responsibility, is being criminally prosecuted and being financially sued. The careers are done. Once you go on this lecture series, you do not come off. And all I'm asking for is to be a journalist, to allow to break my own story, to allow to access my property. And again, these families, everybody else, these are the families where it's like, Jessica Johnson's like Republican, no, not super far right or anything weird, but like she really likes the Constitution, but at the same time, it's her literal job to do something to help people that don't have constitutional rights because of crime, and she won't help somebody. That was I was a good friend to her for a long time. Again, you know, I'm talking preschool, kindergarten, grade school, all up through high school, and the, even in the beginnings of college as well. And so it's like again, I can't say like I really helped somebody in their lives because again. This is the most privileged society at all, so it's not like friendship in terms of like really had their back and really saved them for this or something. So people just grow up on their own. But I was a good friend, always including her, always doing this, always doing that. And to see this shit get on LinkedIn and see this shit. As I'm offering millions of dollars to resolve it, Jessica Johnson, if you could get this shit resolved, instead of throwing you in fucking prison, I would give you $10 million. But that, that, that offer is completely off the table for anybody that I've ever known. And again, especially people with professional responsibilities to do something. It's just disgusting. And so again, here is the list of people that is directly in my community that have professional obligations to do something, or have, or again, have benefited from an organization stealing from me, distributing my intellectual property without cit citation, proper academic citation. And this is just people that popped up into my fucking head. Gary Lewis Jr. is the chief of police of Bexley. Bexley has two universities, including Capital University, distributing the merits of my lecture series. Mark Cuban through Peter Patton, who again tried to, almost got me, tried my parents trying to get me institutionalized as a billionaire won't give me my fucking money. And Mark Cuban has personally said, in direct reference to my work, work maybe you should do something. So again, calling somebody that I know, it, texting somebody that I know personally, fuck your children, pay me, as again, this is year seven. This is year seven. I've posted publicly and respectfully and politely and written for years and years and years, and it's just act like this guy does not exist. And so. Peter Patton, again, will be, will be sued for fraud. You know, I'll figure out all, all the charges. But Jessica Johnson of Strategic Public Partners in Columbus, Ohio, you're being sued. Nathan McBride of uh, the Columbus Chamber of Commerce. Again, my, my business, 1485 Oak Street, Adela's on Oak, cannot turn a profit and cannot be advertised properly because, because I don't have constitutional rights. And nobody has treated me with decency or respect at any point in my life. Again, Nate McBride's a dude that, again, I've never been friends with this fuckhead. He's been a terrible, just, just not in my friend group, not a good dude. And he, he adds me on LinkedIn, because, again, after we, after we whore around, after a ravenous fucking whores from 15 to probably 35, but we're in the heat of the moment from 18 to 25, and we're, we're all going to be the best doctors and solve all the things, and you guys are really just fucking worthless. And then your careers fall apart, and then you you're, you're get tired of your first marriage, and you're all your old fat fucking lazy pieces of shit, but you want to make money. So you try to network. And again, I'm still like, yeah, I have some business success because of my Bitcoin training in this little shithole community. And reality is I've never made more than $16,000 of actual income, and I've never lived in a, a poverty-level loan 
of as debt ever. I cleared some money, but again, without being to have constitutional rights, it's like it doesn't it doesn't matter. It truly doesn't. I need cash flow. And then there's never been a payoff possible because I don't have constitutional rights if you won't network with me. And they destroyed my life, and then when I say go fuck yourselves for destroying my life, it's I'm a threat. My God, no. But Nate McBride is a part of the Columbus Chambers of Commerce. My commerce is ruined in Columbus because people won't report on the news. Reports, whatever, whatever obligations the Columbus Chambers of Commerce has to small businesses in Columbus, Ohio, my business is fucked because these people will not do their jobs. Miles Harris of 10TV, Columbus, Ohio, he is a reporter. I can't turn on a fucking local Ohio news station without someone be like, you know, Stacey Nyaquin, Bob Hendricks, or whatever fucking worth as reporters are. And we shine a light on someone, someone gets done. You have a professional obligation to talk about someone getting tortured in your city because they won't respect his life. But of course not. Again, Jamie Ryan, Jessica Johnson's father-in-law. He's a Columbus attorney. If you've received continuing education credits or simply just knowing about my fucking life, coming up to me in first watch and saying, call me when, when you want to raise me, when, when you want me to raise you money. No, Jamie, I want you to do your fucking job and represent people that are being fucked. You guys, don't you remember when we went all we went paintballing together? We had all that fun time, and now it's time for me to have my rights respected so I can have a family before I'm fucking 40 years old. Fucking 40. Certainly won't be 30. I mean, that's a couple months away. But again, there is any, any sort of, any connection, just, just knowing about my research and not doing something but being an attorney, if you have a law degree, that's a licensure from the state, and again, I have done everything. Proven everything. So if you go take a test and it says, now you can do this thing, it's fraudulent. It's just fraudulent. Again, the current administration of St. Francis de Sales High School in Columbus, Ohio, neglected and abused me as a child. And they are still there, are allowed around children. And they are still distributing curriculums directly regulated by the state of Ohio, which is directly stealing from me. And Jessica Johnson's sitting in the same room with Governor DeWine. Fuck that. So again, these are all, these are all criminal charges and uh, lawsuits filed as soon as I had access to court. Guys, I don't have access to health care. I have permanent damage in my right fucking ear. I didn't have enough money to go to the fucking doctor. I haven't had health insurance in three and a half years. And I'm going to cross my fingers, hope someone fuck up. But again, Tom Newbert, Daniel Garrick, Robert Dvorak, they all uh, were St. Francis Sales Administration. When I was there 10 years ago, they all have, they're all distributing my property. Whether they have, they have to be aware of it to some extent. It is what it is. It's so poignantly aware to everybody. And even if you eat it, just fuck, I am, there's so much crime going on. I am just getting fucked in my fucking asshole every fucking day. And I will pay people substantial money, $10 million, guarantee you $100 million to make this shit fucking stop. It's so genuinely to the people watching this, Jessica Johnson has watched intimately as someone of my age, my, my friend group, my, my entire life be denigrated and disgusting. She's watched the whole thing happen. Then obviously Elaine Bryant, Chief of Police in Columbus, Ohio, Chief, Chief Gilbert, the, the Chief of the Franklin County Sheriff's, wherever I'm living directly, and obviously Governor DeWine, Husted, Andrew Ginther, Kasich from years ago. And then in addition to them, again, people that have committed fraud, stolen IP, or received licensures without proper academic citation. David Paletta, who was, a, who was or is a, a, at Arizona State University, is a lecturer in mathematics, another person that has watched, watched my life get absolutely fucked in college, and now he just goes up, well, and so who's going to help Brad? Oh, I got to do my job. We're all just doing our jobs, but we're literally not doing our jobs and committing crimes. And then we're just forming gangs because we're so pathetic that we can't be criticized. And we, most importantly, will not do our jobs. Tim Dune, again, another close, close, close friend for years and years and years. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you can pass school or not. You fucking retard. But um, if you received a medical licensure without citing, and again, you're not pres advocating or pre prescribing cannabis, you've stolen from a school that's stealing from me, so you're part of a racket, and you clearly and intimately know what the fuck is going on in my life. And so the last time we interacted, when we were in the car together, like, oh, we don't need to talk about it again. Stop stealing from me, man. I know, I know Robert and Kathy didn't teach you how to behave, but, like, do something to help people. Right? And if you have a licensure, it's just fraudulent. I know you don't get that, you don't think that, and it's all just Brad and Oh, I can just fucking feel, I can just feel the, my mom and the salespeople like, why is he criticizing people? I have not eaten, and I've never slept consistently in my entire life. I've never eaten consistently in my adult life. I've never been financially stable or felt safe in my adult life simply because of financial crimes. Literally. Literally, that's it. But he's received a medical, medical licensure, and he won't, again, 
the FDA, he's in a broader context of fraud of the FDA again. When I watch Dr. Ashton on GMA3 is a fucking white bitch who can't fucking speak, has no spine, can't stand up for anything, has never really made a decision for themselves. They don't know how to do decision making, let alone prescribe things, let alone give authority, let alone give direction. And I prove things. Forget all of the authority and emotion. This is evidently and empirically true. Oh no, 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 there's too much fraud going on. The FDA would have to prescribe cannabis. That's too, that's, whoa, no. No, no, we might leave it state by state because the empirical value is clearly there. But no, 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 we're not sure. We're not sure. Again, we come from a place of deny, 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 deny. We are the center of our own universes. We are arrogant as fuck and we are pathetic. The instant we get offended, our universe just starts crumbling and our identity breaks because we don't have any. And then we just scapegoat Brad and get a call the thread. It does not stop not one minute of one day. And Richard Reese of OSU Law School, I think he went to practice patent law. I don't care. If you have received a licensure without proper academic citation, you are committing academic fraud. It is fucking true. And so it's like Sean Carroll and all these podcasters that, these, these are the people that directly in my community that are just literally, legally obligated to do something they don't, and they're being criminally prosecuted, financially sued, no exceptions, no conversations, nothing. If you guys want to act like I don't exist, I'm going to act like you guys don't exist. Fuck you. Punishment, simply statements of the law. And so that was just, when I, when, I read, when I see this and read that, it's just disgusting. It's just so fucking disgusting. And so, the, st again, the statute of limitations for felonies is often less time than debt collection. Right, that fraudulent being extorted from Colorado over $7,000 that did not fucking make. They literally said on record, on recording, that they, they just guessed how much they thought I made based off an incomplete statement. Fraud. Then they extorted me. And then, then I watched Ben Shapiro for a clip, and he says the statute of limitations is typically five for felonies and two for misdemeanors. No, we're going to change all the laws. Again, RICO, RICO takes, pretty much takes away the, the, um, any, 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 any statute of limitations, again, for federal ongoing rackets and organi organized crime. Which, again, this is the most organized crime that has ever existed. And just because you guys have badges and steal taxpayer dollars and there's a bunch of you doesn't make any fucking difference. But it's just disgusting to see that any debt collection, again, whether you all, all you people believe in the Bible, it says not debts, no debt collection after seven years. I guess that was, that was probably right. They hit the, the seven-year mark. But it's, just, it's disgusting to have a statute of limitations being shorter than debt collection time frames. Where's my money? Yeehaw! Play games and come all day. Yeehaw! <laughs> Give me my fucking money. Let me fucking play. But of course not. Of course not. And so those are, again, just all the people that, again... I got invited to my to lunch with my brother and my parents after being the most denigrating and disrespectful, truly interaction of my life going to that fucking freak show hospital simply to try to appease my mother's financial insecurity because she had an emotional breakdown. Because first of all, she's illiterate. I don't, mom. If you're watching this, go ahead and get mad. When's the last time you've read an academic book? I'm the most prominent academic, so take. I'm not trying to offend you, but take time to understand your child's profession. Again, after you told, after uh, just my life has been destroyed. Uh, but yeah, my brother's coming back in town for a funeral. He texts me like, hey, man, it would be great to like get lunch and catch up. Fuck no, man. You disrespected me in my home again. When I said aliens are real, he's like, I believe you. There's nothing to believe. Top-level academics and government officials have come up to me unsolicited at my fucking apartment and confirmed it to me after I'm the one who discovered it. God, fuck. But then they're so, they said aliens are real. It's like, ooh, it's scary. Why is that fucking scary? Do bugs in the fucking woods scare you? Do aliens that have been here before this planet even formed scare you? Like how fucking insecure are these balls of just people that have no fucking values, man? So of course I don't want to go eat lunch. I want to be treated like a professional adult. I want to be treated with dignity and respect. And mom and dad can't open their mouth without insulting me because of money. God. 45% of U.S. parents support at least one adult child. 63% of parents support kids' phone bills. And again, I guarantee you my mom thinks she's in that percentage. Mother, I have given you a secured loan against real property that is being devalued because my constitutional rights are, are violated. And I have my good, old, good friend, Jessica Johnson, has a professional legal obligation sitting in a room with Mike DeWine, and it's just beep, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Cowardice. So my mother, you are not, in the, you are not supporting your kid any more than your employer is supporting you. I have real value. My life matters. I have done real things. Again, I have never formed an identity because people do not know how to treat me respectfully. 
And so that, that's rehashing of the stories today. My life continues to be absolutely fucking disgusting. And I just, I'm not sad. I'm not sad. I'm not upset. And God, fuck, fuck me. I'm surrounded by children that do not know how to behave and will not do their jobs. Please give me my money so I can get the fuck out. Stallion rumble, baby. And seriously, at this point, it has to be, you know, 250,000 people that could directly do something to uh, help me again. Just simply get away from the toxicity of my parents not knowing how to manage money. And then they, they, they take all of that emotional 14-year-old children bottled up in 60-year-old 60, 60 people. And then I'm their kid, so they still treat me like a fucking kid, not a professional, most prolific academic ever. Or, or musician, or teacher, or lawyer, or psychologist, or psychiatrist, or physicist, or mathematician, or any of those other adjectives you use to describe academic research. I do all of it, literally all of it. Easily deriving five, five PhDs worth of derivation every single fucking day. And I've been doing so for seven fucking, for, I've been doing my entire life, but documenting for seven years. I just want, I just want to be able to pay my bills, but that's, that's not going to occur. So now back just to normal talking points. Study reveals, AI reveals, quote unquote, air quotes past reveals if you're just listening, but AI could impact up to 80% of jobs, with the highest exposure being one mathematician, which I thought was fucking hilarious. Yeah, no, no, mathematicians, uh, mathematicians, you guys think of just circle jerk around to numbers on a computer and they do calculations. Calculations is not mathematics. Mathematics is proof. And so when I go on to chat GBT and ask them what's the difference between sensorality, C or an S, and, and it's like, that's not a word. Again, cell or cell, clearly different. Um, can't think of any of the other ones off the top of my head, but it just, there, there's a ton of different differentiations between C and S's, and those are all proofs of the word family already in existence. Right, mathematics, you prove there's, there's a solution, and then you prove a, a specific solution. Yeah, it is what it is, it's the general form of all language, all structure, and speciality is the general, I proved that already, and the entire word family, that's what special means, just with a T-Y at the end, and now I'm doing sensorality. And so, while doing the most prolific derivation ever, I, I can't feel safe enough to eat food for more than two days, two weeks, two months at a time. Because of ongoing and in criminal activity. But I'm not sure how AI, AI is not going to impact, might impact up again a bunch of manual jobs. Certainly not any actual real mathematics, which is just me. Everybody else is administrators. They lie, they cheat, they steal, and the academic brand doesn't exist. And then two is tax preparers, which is good. You should be, as a citizen, should be able to pay, file your own taxes, but why do we ever do that? Again, we, we have to create problems in our society so we can form huge industries so all of our stupid fucking kids can get jobs. Actual empirical fact, no violence, no encouraging suicide. If you're dead, you don't have to pay bills. So again, we have to get to a point in our society where we take responsibility for our actions. When you stuff your dick in your wife's vagina and jizz and a kid pops out and you still don't know how to behave, they're just going to pick up your shitty behavior, as we've been documenting my entire life. And so we don't need jobs. We need a functioning society. But we're just left over from the 1700s. We're trying to pop out factory workers, our baby boomers, and the older generation. They don't really know what they're doing because they have no values. But we have the society we're getting. There's the, the basketball players, the scientists, the doctors, the lawyers. And we all have our little broken identities. And nobody knows how to prove the law. And everybody else is committing crimes. And so, uh, again, I just... I didn't write down the other ones. They had the jobs most... Um, they got the souls on Fox, but they had a chart of like most um, impacted and least impacted. I just jotted down the first two, but I took down eighty percent of jobs. Uh, uh, maybe I don't, I don't know. I don't care. Have some applicable skill set, provide some value. Don't get scapegoated and make a YouTube channel and work. It will fucking work. But if you're Brad Bose, you will get tortured until you're fucking dead, as people will not acknowledge you of what you've done because they cannot change their behavior. And again, and this is all my community is all this backdrop again, like Christian Catholic background. It's like, yeah, but like, how much fraud is that thing? Because they, they still have to show up at the some kind of church. Like, my old friend Ryan Malone, he's like, I'm still going to raise my kids Catholic. What is that? Catholic means universal. I'm motherfucking universal. Well, momentum in light is universal, but you know, you got what I'm saying there. But again, I'm 53.5% I'm, I'm through reading through the entire Bible. And again, clear as fuck of what the differentiation I've made that is empirically proven. And so, again, you know, is the Catholic church going to change? Fuck no. Is all these denominations of Christianity going to change? Fuck no. Is the Jewish tradition going to change? Fuck no. Don't really know enough about the Muslims. I haven't read the Quran, so I can't really comment on that. But it's clear, again, 400 AD was when the Prophet was, was doing real shit. And so that was certainly after, after, um, after Christianity. And so, 
But it's just like, it's just, but then they, they, people just say God as if it's like, again, open up the Old Testament. It, every verse, every other book is like our God as opposed to the other gods. Clearly just having a rank or position in a different society. And so they just said God as indiscriminately as Jesus and just God is, who is clearly an actual individual, whether no one really knows her name. My intuition is absolutely certain his name was Aaron, not the Aaron of Moshe, but that, again, not, not even, I don't even think of the Jewish lineage at all. It just, again, 50,000 years ago before, you know, when, when you open up the book of Genesis and they're like, there was one, there was one uh, language in the beginning on earth. But yeah, it's probably been proven law and it spreads through everybody if they disseminate the information. And so it's just like, there, I've made so many proven historical differentiations, I'm not even sure what anyone's fucking teaching. I'll just say God randomly, and then just people, again, no different. When people are saying God is a singular individual, it's no different than when you listen to a, a sports act player saying, thank God for, you know, God helps me, and no one's really sitting there like, some, like, what do you mean? Use different words to explain that. Oh, well, the spirit helped me. Oh, so sentiment helped you. You felt good. You reasoned something. Use different words. I guarantee you, you're just talking about your life experience through your eye. The individual, my, my autonomy, the in, I, the letter. Guaranteed. It's proven. But people cannot change their behavior. So just like, I just have no idea what anyone's fucking talking about. Oh, I did. There's too many crimes and nobody cares. But Pope Francis is hospitalized. Kick the, kick the can, bitch. Who cares? 86 male. is doing profound damage by not disseminating proven scientific and historical information directly relevant to him. But Holy Week is coming up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Historical fraud so people can feel good. Which isn't inherently bad, but when you destroy another person's life and kill a bunch of kids and start wars for 70 years because you won't disseminate scientific information, it's a bad thing. Net bad thing. Uh, but, yeah, again, people, there's, there's nothing else to say. MLB opening day with new rules. 15 second pitch clock with no one on base and 20 second with base runners. They're trying to sp speed up the game of play, keep it interesting. Again, believe it or not, I played baseball because it's one of the laziest fucking sports you can play. And still keep my parents happy to play games and come all day. I was going to go be the medical doctor. And my reputation got destroyed. And every business financial decision, I decision, again, reaction I've made to other people's criminal activity in the past decade is simply because I got kicked out, neglected out of school for doing scientific information. Eric Braun's eyes transfer right when I say it's going to take, it takes time for the electron orbital to jump. And he's just like, that's definitely fucking true, but I definitely can't accept that. Go do your homework. What does that mean? Go go do draw a bra on a cat. I've been watching uh, Edward Witten's lectures. Again, literally just again, same thing I did 10 years ago. Just the words that blurred out that had any proper context. And then the Mikowski space, the, the Andy Milnaka space, and the vector space, and this space, and that space. So you just throw adjectives on shit you don't know what you're talking about. And all I do is directly derive linguistics to the physical processes that exist around me. But we can't acknowledge where it exists. So, again, I don't watch baseball, so I have no idea how, how that would affect gameplay, even as like a consumer, just to watch the game. Now, I would never watch a baseball game on TV, but I would go to the ballpark and get a hot dog and have a beer and just chill out and be around to other human beings. But that would require an expendable yeah, income, which I do not have, or a community, or friends, or a girlfriend, which would obviously never occur. Uh-oh, coming in hot! Several casualties after two Blackhawks crash in Kentucky. Very competent army. Right, right, Brian Sullivan on uh, CNBC who's also not doing his job. And again, those are just the people that I know personally. Everybody else in any sort of obligatory role is being permanently prosecuted and sued as well. But, um, yeah, they're super competent at their jobs. Yeah, nine dead. Nine dead. Hoorah! Yeah, good one, guys. Smear roll coming in. Nine or nine or zero. Coming in hot. Tango, tango, alpha zero. Tango, alpha zero. Head left, all spoolish. Nine dead, nine dead. And then, oh, President Biden's going to console their, console their families. What about the millions of children being fucking executed because people will not prescribe cannabis? And it is provenly empirically effective. No, that doesn't count. If you commit enough crime, it doesn't really count. Homes evacuated in Minnesota after another train derails. LOL. Looks like 10 to 20-ish cars with burning occurring. Can anybody do their jobs? No. Is everybody incompetent, lazy fucks that just wants a handout? And have a nice day. I just want to enjoy the day. Well, me too. But I, I need my constitutional rights to like start doing something, which would never occur. Um, Donald Trump indicted in New York in relation to paying Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. Play games and come. Pay off your whores. Pay off your whores. Which I'm not. I'm not really sure why that's illegal to be honest. Hush money for for cheating. Scummy as fuck. But I'm not really sure what's the what's the big public danger to that. 
I don't know, Sam and Daniels, adult actors, no, she's just a fucking whore. You know, I don't mind adult work, but if you if you lie, if you manipulate the concept of sex for personal attention, attention whores, and you don't do your basic societal responsibilities, and again, if you have a social media following and you have any idea, there's no there's no chance you aren't somehow aware of my work to some degree. Please stop killing children. Stop ruining my life. Stop endangering my life. Stop making my life fucking shit. But we're worried about this dude, uh, uh, um, Donald Trump paying off horse, but again, and then the big political response is, oh my gosh, you can't indict a former president. Of course you fucking can. It's a citizen. Oh my gosh, we said the president that he can. Of course you fucking can. It's a fucking citizen. Retards. Aliens are doing it. Oh, this is another wonderful quote from Brent Weinstein. My, uh, my spices rearranged themselves yesterday. They were in the shape of a wiener, and I definitely did not leave my spice rack in the shape of a wiener. That is, that is, that was very true. I have a picture. But I watched another Brett Weinstein. You can go to jail soon as I can. Eric Weinstein goes to jail soon as I can. Joe Rogan, Lex Friedman, Sean Carroll, Andrew Huberman. If you were spreading false information and not doing your jobs, you were going to fucking prison. And the gang members that are that said we can do whatever we want, I will make, I will lobby whoever I need, whether I'm alive or fucking dead. You're gonna have a country of GDP. We're gonna change the laws, and if you commit a treason, you will face capital punishment. Whatever it takes to get that legally done will be done. Um. But I watched a Brett Weinstein clip, again, talking to somebody else committing complete fucking fraud. Again, selfish, pathetic people that like to have some attention saying, I doubt it, I doubt it, I doubt Brad can do science, I doubt that, I doubt aliens exist. Again, humanity was absolutely butt-fucking certain that planet Earth was the center of the solar system 500 years ago. How is that not completely analogous to human beings being so butt-fucking arrogant? They think that we're the only life in the, on, Earth, or in, the, in the on Earth, from Earth, in the Earth. From the sun, again, I have way too much intuition simply from the solar system itself, let alone the fucking galaxy. El Camino, the land of milk and honey, the Milky Way, where's the fuck's the honey? And the, but there he's on this again, somebody committing fraud. Again, I love that you guys, you guys are literally documenting your own fraud because it's like fun to have a podcast. <laughs> be nice, now I'm going to enforce the law because we don't need to learn to behave. But he says something to the effect of, you know, Aliens are doing a terrible job at hiding themselves, they could, or they could settle the question any, any day. Because again, bre retards think in either ors when the, all the interesting ha happens in the gray area. But we don't believe in grays. Well, they might be green. I'm certain there's a reptilian sect of either gray skins, they might have some camouflage into green, but the gray there's clearly a thing to me. And, but he's like, he says that. Aliens are doing a terrible job at hiding themselves as if they're like trying to, or as if they give a fucking shit. They're almost certainly fucking with you guys. Like, because again, and then, but he says, they could settle the question any day. As if any fucking species owes a bunch of dumb chimpanzees a fucking explanation. They're observing us to see the progress of our society, which isn't. God fuck. But the arrogance of that statement, they could settle the question any day. Like an advanced technological species, and once you know that there's flight fucking everywhere, it's just a process of development, and no more than a data point on a fucking chart. To see what, how does this, how does the industrial age, uh, how fast does that develop? How fast does this do this? And I'm sure our anatomical characteristics play into that. Biology and evolution and history, simply from their aspect. Just as you, as you guys want to be scientists, they'll be actually scientists. They should settle a question any fucking day. That, that day watching natural evolution. What, the arrogance of these fucking statements. But these people have instinctually denied science their entire fucking lives. They were disgusting fucking people. So they're doing a terrible job at hiding themselves. They're not. We've done. We've done a terrible job at looking, or just uh, acknowledging stuff that when data is fucking everywhere. And then Eric Weinstein says the indirect data is seems to be everywhere, but the direct data is inconclusive. No, it's at all the fucking military sites. It's all those places. Because <laughs> it's a god fuck. And I don't give a shit about aliens. I have 15 careers being destroyed. And so once once you get to the entirety and brevity of what I've done. Aliens again drop down many, drop down many, drop down many, drop down many. A bunch of people cannot accept science, kill kids. Uh oh, aliens are scary. We can't change our behavior. We're going to doubt, doubt, doubt for eternity. No, they've been here since before our solar system had formed. So, have fun. Uh oh, Andrew Tate is released from prison, Romanian prison, and put on house arrest. Big, big, big deal. Top G. Top G. How do you do the fucking finger shit? And it's so funny watching. Pathetic fucks. I try to maximize maximizing their dexterity. Standing in posture, right? Girls taking taking pictures, or uh, I turn on the Fox News and all the, all the all the white bitches and the, and the black bitches are all sitting there, tits perked out, 
ass is poking out, then just they're maximizing their posture. Uh oh, time to take a picture, and I guarantee you every girl knows geometry. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was big news. Andrew Tate is relation to Romanian prison. Who gives a fucking shit? But I really want to know how he does the how how like how like what do I have to do to do the fucking hand shit to be top G? <laughs> Lindsey Graham, last point. Lindsey Graham says Trump should smash windows and punch a cop on his way to being indicted. Lindsey Graham is inciting violence. He's inciting destruction of property. Arrest him. No, I'm not kidding. Fucking arrest him. If I get called a fucking threat for trying to call people to ask for a legal email, again, how many lawyers out there that haven't been fraudulently devalued out of your credentials have ever uh, 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 either called or emailed or written to somebody in a, a professional capacity and they mocked you and hung up on you and said, ah, fuck off. You're a threat. And then had some cops come by for a wellness check and you're just like, you guys are committing fraud. I want, I want someone to contact about criminal activity so I can document it. You know, part 192. This isn't just random. These are all well thought out. And nope, but yeah, but again, if you're popular, the only part that matters in life is to be popular. Because Lindsey Graham is ooh, some, somewhere in the worthless American pol political world, obviously on the right side, should smash windows and punch a cop for being indicted for committing crimes. Which again, I'm not even sure why hush money is a crime. Shitty as fuck, cheat on your wife and pay, pay a whore, but <laughs> I don't know what public damage, danger that poses. But. Yeah, telling people to destroy property and punch a cop is incitation of violence and incitation to destruct property. You should arrest him and charge Lindsey Graham as well. As I'm being called a threat for trying to exercise my constitutional rights. As I'm watching old friends sit sit in rooms with sit in rooms with um, the governor of the state destroying my life and my property as I'm invested in this fucking city, literally. So again, the hypocrisy never ever gets any worse. And now the people that did this to me are literally in professional positions to do something, they won't, and then Andrew Schultz will be like, they're just protecting their jobs. Literally not doing your job to commit crimes because you're in your gang is not a good idea. It just, it just isn't. They're all fat, lazy, pathetic folks. So, again, I'm still in food insecure. I do not feel safe enough to go to this grocery store and buy food that I want at any point in my adult life, simply because of financial stress caused by crime. So, at any point, if somebody can do something, you'll be a lot of, make a lot of money and keep yourself out of jail. But if not, everybody else is just no, no conversations, no settlements. 99% of losses are set up out of court. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I will have the country, a GDP of a country, and we'll sit there and we're going to prosecute everything. No settlements. I don't give a fuck about your money. You need to be punished for your criminal activity. Lie, cheat, steal. Lie, cheat, steal. Lie, cheat, steal. Again, as I'm from the Catholic Christian community where the, my proofs in the Bible are historical, and then my proofs in math and science are historical, and my inventions and my property are substantial. And then, and then we're going to be pol politicals or newscasters or journalists or something, which I've been doing every day for seven years. But Brad Boas doesn't exist. Don't acknowledge him. Just literally just don't acknowledge him. That's what the federal governments have said. Just don't acknowledge him. He doesn't exist. And it's the most profound psychological torture you could ever go through. And these people are pathetic fucking trash. So, stallions, rumble. Stallions, rumble. We gonna motherfucking rumble. Thank you.